Hello. I am Jonathan Bloom of The Name I Want to Mistaken, and this is Colin Seward. Hi. And we are here to do the Loot Crate unboxing for January. January, yes. I don't know why I didn't put that. <laughs> so let's get going. You saw a jump cut. <laughs> okay. So, do you want to do the first one? Yep. Well, that's in the Loot Crate. Whoa! A Minecraft calendar. That, at the back, six... 16 months, 16 months, not over here, don't care. 16 <laughs> months, and has a lot of cool different um, pictures. This looks cool. And if you're a gamer, you love Minecraft. Yes. Oh, and this is my third month, so I get a Loot Crate membership card. I will just put that in my wallet. You take everyone's loot? Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> That's how I roll. <laughs> Word. Okay, um,. Since that wasn't officially an item, it was just kind of a thing they had. Uh -huh. I get a NASA patch. This is cool. I mean, a very good quality patch. I've actually seen this at NASA when we went to Kennedy Space Center. This is pretty nice. Nice. So, um, you want to do the next one? Yep. The next one is the Loot Crate button for January. What's cool about this is every month, Loot Crate is doing a button, a collectible button based off that theme. And actually, this one is based off of Loot Crate, Loot Craft 1. Mm -hmm. Lootcraft 1 is actually a spaceship that they launched into space. Or a, a, a loot crate that launched into space. And there's a video on their site. And they actually just launched a second one. And the video is coming soon or it's out now by the time you see this. And they actually recovered that second one. It, they, they follow using GPS signals and all that. So pretty cool, actually. Nice. And that's and this month is launched. So if it's... The next item is Order 66, the pocket model trading card game. These are Star Wars pocket model things. These are actually really cool. I mean, they make the, you, you put them together on the back. I mean, that's actually really cool. I, I'm, I'm going to do that and put it on my office. Next is a Rubik's Cube. This is how I feel at every Rubik's Cube, because I'm sorry. I'm not smart enough to use Rubik's Cube. I mean, and I, it's made in Russia, so it could be thermonuclear, maybe? It could be. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is a Star Trek patch. And, and if I get this wrong... I got a lot of nerds that are being mad at me. And again, I'm a nerd, so I can, I can call them nerds. Hey, at least you're not a red shirt. Yes. I'm not going to... Oh! I am wearing this. Well, then you're probably going to be killed. <laughs> okay, we're back. Yes. Oh, that was scary. I am clone number... T no, not two. I'm clone number five. I must have regenerated like the doctor. Right. Actually, I am Jonathan Bloom, the, 90, the 99th doctor. Way to go for your TARDIS. The next is the Star Wars Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide, in case you run into any Wookiees or, God forbids, Jar Jar Binkses. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> and I wonder if Klingons. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know Klingons are Star Trek. Wrong Jar. thing. Wrong thing. <laughs> yes. But I do wonder if it if the silence or again I know I'm a doctor. Of the lambs. Thing. No. The silence. <laughs> you haven't seen Doctor Who yet. You need to see Doctor Who. I will. Everyone, tell Colin he needs to see Doctor Who. After right part of recreation, he needs to see Doctor Who, and then tell me in the comments I need to see Star Trek because I I do I need to get I need to get I need to get into Star Trek. So I'm almost done with Parks and Recreation. So and I'm almost done with uh, Chuck. I'm starting Battle Star Galactica. So hey, Netflix, love it. This is not really an item. This is uh, this, this actually is a pretty cool magazine. It explains why they pick different items, what and what they're about. There's like different articles. Um, by Loot Crate. This actually is a lot of fun to read through, and and, and um, it's Loot Crate's like monthly magazine. There's there's uh, interviews with people. I mean, it talks about like their. I like some of the artwork I see on it. Yeah, and then what's cool is here they explain the different um, things that they've been through. Of course, there's even a crossword. crossword. Yeah, that's cool. Loot Crate's really getting good at their themed boxes. I I mean I'm, I'm impressed. It's my third month. This is my favorite box. And you want to know why it's my favorite box? <laughs> Wait well, for it. I'm just going to be uh, very nerdy. I like to do ballroom dancing. And next to my ballroom dancing is a place called Pack Rep Comics. So I go there um, whenever I'm near, at the dance studio and they're still in the comic stores are open. And at the comic book store are little pop figurines like Jafar. I mean, you can buy different stuff. And they have manga comics, but my favorite thing there is to buy the pop figures. And that's not a pop figure. That's a, Mr. Palehead of uh, Matt Smith, my favorite doctor. Oh, and here's Mary Poppins with red. If you need to see Saving Mr. Banks, red is so bad. Yes, red is bad. At least there's no animated penguins. Uh oh, there's red. Oh, red, 
No, no, but don't have animated, no animation. Yeah, no animation. Okay, so the next and final item. This is cool. Domo, Superman. Arrogato, Mr. Roboto, Domo. Okay. Domo. Good thing we didn't play the actual music because probably be copyright, copyright violation. <laughs> I mean, we'd be like all the other YouTubers are getting. Are you copy. dancing that in dance? Domo. That would be cool. Ro that would be cool. <laughs> so yeah, he has a cave and all that. And this is really cool. So, uh, Loot Crate, I know there's Nerd Block and other ones, and I've looked at the Nerd Block each month. It's, Nerd Block is 30, Loot Crate's 20. I like the Loot Crate because every month is a, is a theme, and they, they really try to curate different items. And so far, I've been like, I have not liked every item in the Loot Crate. Personal taste. Not that there are bad items. Personal taste, I've not liked. This one, I've loved every item. Jump cut! <laughs> <laughs> I love jump cuts. They're very lazy. Jumpy. And transition. Whoa! How'd you get over there? I magic. I, I I just I just you know what? Emmett Brown, are you doing a time machine thing or? He must be. Uh, I just was randomly over here. Or are we in a parallel dimension like in Doctor Who? We could be. Paradoxes. Well, I think Loot Crate is a really good deal. If you want to join Loot Crate, it's clicky.me/slash/loot-crate. Clicky.me/slash/loot-crate. Mm -hmm. And it is really good. I, I, I've been enjoying Loot Crate, and I can't wait to see what's happening. And you get some really cool, dorky, cool stuff. Yeah, and if it hadn't been for Loot Crate, I would not have gotten into these pop figures. And what's cool about Loot Crate is sometimes they have special crates that are they're extra that you buy. But, like, um, I, I got Batman from... Oops. Oh, and you're not, you're not going over Doctor Who. But, oh, and I just killed Mary Poppins. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, but yeah. Um, and you get a, like, Yoda bobblehead. I've got a Star Wars mini poster. I mean, just some cool different stuff. Um, there's one for, like, Lord of the Rings, where you have Night Star Bilbo and all that. And you get a, a Mockingjay from Hunger, Hunger Games. Games. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> do you think they're going to eat McDonald's in the next movie? What? Do, do you think they're going to eat McDonald's in the next movie? Yeah, McDonald's, probably. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but Loot Crate is a great deal. And, again, look at them and Nerdblock. I mean, just... I want you to figure out what you like the best. Just know for me, I like Loot Crate. So, and what is so cool about Loot Crate? Just by being a subscriber, you can get a mega crate. One person will get this amazing crate. The one in this one is worth da 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 five hundred plus value. You got a Minecraft wall torch. Ooh, if I'm not, that would be. Awesome. I gotta add that to my wish list if I'm not. And I, I could still win this. I don't know how the the rules work, but I think I've heard that they send out the Lebecca crate to the random winner a few d days after this, so I could get this. I Hopefully you do. Yeah, because if not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to figure out how you get you need a, You need a torch to help defend against creepers. Oh, yes. Oh, and Minecraft PS3, my favorite game. Okay, we're, we're rambling too long. So, um, <laughs> yeah, clicky.me slash sloot crate. I, I highly recommend it. And, and like, what's cool is they sometimes have stuff that you that are that's custom made. Like, this is a wristband that says Geek and Gamer. I mean, it, it's cool. And uh, that's it. So yep. this is the January Loot Crate. I really recommend it. And so we'll be back in February. And I'm also posting the New Year's Eve Loot Crate real soon. Nice. Because there was a New Year's Eve mystery, or New Year's mystery Loot Crate. I'm posting that real soon. I just had to, I have to edit it and all that. So that should be up, uh, that should be up before or after this. So if it's before this, then there's a paradox or like that. So we shifted it, time. Paradoxes happen. So I'm Jonathan Seward. And, and I am Colin Bloom. And mm -hmm. we hope you have a great day. See ya.